optimization video part eight uh, we have here a cylindrical container we have a cylinder and the cylinder uh, with both ends enclosed with a hemisphere hemisphere up from the upper end hemisphere half sphere from the lower end right and uh, uh, we have to prove first part a part a and the, these three parts a b and c it's composed of three parts and they are de independent uh, the volume is increased by the rate 3 cm cube per second. So the V to the H is 3 cm cube, cube per second. It's not to the H, it's to the T. Right? It's 3 cm cube per one second means it's increased according to time 3 cm cube every one second. Such that the radius is always half the height of the cylinder. Okay, this is the height of the cylinder, right? The radius of the cylinder, this is the radius of the cylinder, right? The radius is always half, it's, it, it, it increased, but, but in a way that the radius is always half the height. Find the rate at, at which the radius is increasing. We need to find the rate at which the radius is increasing, the r to dt. This value I need to find where h or when h is 8 centimeters all right let's start let's start <clears throat> okay first first i need to find all right to find to find dv to dt this means i uh, should find the uh, dv dt equals what right we have dv dt actually but we, we need to find the uh, 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 dr dt Okay, dv, dv dt is equal dv, dv dt, dv dt is equal to dv dr, right, times dr dt, or dv dh, because the volume is given in terms of h, Okay, let me let me directly try to find the volume in terms of uh, not h in terms of uh, r right dv dr times the r dt because if we find the vo uh, if I, I can I can use the same thing the r dt I can I can use uh, a, a for a chain formula right chain rule dv dt equal dv dh times the h dt and we find the h dt and then I uh, um, take this r equal half h and derive them both to find the r dt from the h dt here directly we can find the r dt right what is dv dr first let me find the volume the volume of this shape is a volume of cylinder is a volume of cylinder right which is how much is the volume of the cylinder it's pi r square times h plus we have two half hemispheres this means we have one full sphere so plus four over three pi pi r cube right it's pi r cube okay if r equal uh, half h let's find directly h equals what in terms of r it's double r right so we substitute instead of h double r here we got 2 pi uh, r cube instead of h to r plus uh, here we don't have height it's uh, directly 4 over 3 pi r cube so it's 4 over 3 pi r cube i do what in this case let me add them first. It's uh, 6 pi plus 4 pi. It's 10 pi r cube over 3, right? Uh, let's find directly dv to the r here. Derive both sides. It's 10 pi over 3 dr cube dr, right? Which is equal uh, 3 times 10 pi over 3. It's 10 pi, 10 pi r squared. All right so let's let's directly the uh, find the uh, okay if 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 we have dv over dt equal dv dr times dr dt this means that the r dt that he wants me to find he wants me to find directly the r dt right is equal dv dt dv dt divided by dv dr dv dr what is dv dt what is dv the t 
Okay, dv dt is given as 3. Okay, dv dr, we found it as 10 pi r square. All right, the, do we have r to substitute instead of r's value? No, but we have h. If h is 8 centimeter, this means r equal half h. This means r equal half times 8, which is 4 centimeters, right? So let's substitute 4 centimeter instead of r here. It will be 3 over 10 pi 4 square. 4 square is 16. So the answer is 3 over 160 pi. This is the increase of radius and, uh, to time. So a centimeter per one second. <clears throat> Again, before I continue, uh, we can do something else. We can find uh, we can find this formula in terms of h means substitute instead of r half h, and then we derive the formula, and then we find uh, instead of the r dt we find the the h dt, and then I derive r equal right r equal half r equal half h. If we derive this will be the r dt is equal half the h dt right half the h dt. If I find if I found h, the h dt, I can substitute it directly to find the r dt. Both are okay. This one I found it is simpler for sure, easier directly. So uh, part B, we finished part A. Part B says what? Let's see. Back to the book. Part B says, given that the total, and it's independent, right? And all the uh, uh, parts are independent. Given that the total, that the total uh, surface area of metal to be used is 100 centimeter cube. Total surface area, total surface area, okay, total surface area of the metal is 100 centimeter squared. Find the maximum volume. Find the maximum volume. All right, let me first find the area, total surface area of, of this uh, shape, metal shape. Area is the area of the uh, surface area of the sphere, which is 4 pi r squared plus total surface area of the uh, cylinder it's 2 pi r h right okay this means that this is equal 100 because it's given 100 centimeter square all right let me go and find and find the h in terms uh, of r here right so let's let's first divide by 2 this will be 2 pi r square plus pi r h equal 100 equal uh, sorry 50 right i'm dividing by two both sides equal 50 then h pi r h right is equal to 50 minus 2 pi r square this means that how much is h is equal to 50 minus 2 pi r square divided by pi r this which is equal 50 over pi r minus 2 pi r square over pi r it will be just 2 r and this is what this is h this is the height and again he wants me to find the maximum he wants me to find the maximum volume the maximum volume in this case that's great what is the volume of the metal shape we have which composed of sphere and uh, cylinder volume volume uh, in terms of radius is equal first what is volume what is volume volume in general it's for we, we found it first but again it's 4 over 3 pi r cube which represents the volume of the sphere plus pi r square h which is which represents the volume of the volume of the cylinder let me substitute instead of h its value so we can find volume of, with respect to radius is equal to 4 over 3 pi r cube uh, plus pi r square h which is 50 divided by pi r minus 2 r this is h right now let me uh, simplify a little bit this formula let me simplify it a little bit so uh, volume of r in terms of r will be equal 4 over 3 pi r cube plus uh, pi r over pi r cancel it's 50 r minus it's uh, 2 pi r cube right so uh, now let me find the derivative let me derive this volume in terms of r so it will be uh, 3 uh, times 4 over 3, it's 4 